creatine and caffeine are two common supplements in the fitness field. They are frequently the go-to alternatives for athletes and fitness enthusiasts trying to better their performance and attain their fitness objectives. They're typically utilized to increase sports performance and reach fitness objectives. But what makes these supplements so powerful and how do they act in our bodies? But how do they work? Let's break it down. Understanding the research behind these supplements may help you make educated choices regarding their usage. Creatine is a natural chemical present in our muscles. It plays a critical role in the creation of energy, particularly during high-intensity exercises. It helps build energy during high-intensity exercises. When you lift weights or race, your muscles require short bursts of energy, and creatine offers that additional push. Think of it as an additional boost for your muscles. This surge may help you lift heavier weights, run faster and train harder, eventually leading to higher performance and muscular development. Caffeine, on the other hand, is a stimulant found in coffee, tea, and energy drinks. It's commonly ingested not just by athletes but by individuals all over the globe to remain awake and aware. It helps us feel more attentive and aware. This enhanced alertness may be especially advantageous during exercises, helping you remain focused and enthusiastic. It achieves this by inhibiting adenosine, a neurotransmitter that makes us feel fatigued. By inhibiting adenosine, caffeine helps to alleviate the sense of exhaustion, allowing you to push through strenuous exercises. Both creatine and caffeine offer advantages, but they function in different ways whereas creatine gives energy straight to your muscles. Caffeine acts on your brain to keep you awake and focused, and understanding their different impacts is crucial to managing their combined usage. By learning how each supplement works, you may better adapt your consumption to meet your individual fitness objectives and demands. Creatine is a popular substance among athletes and bodybuilders for a good reason. It plays a critical function in energy generation during hard activity. When we participate in high-intensity sports like weightlifting or running, our bodies require fast bursts of energy. This is where creatine comes in. Creatine helps restore ATP, the fundamental energy currency of our cells. By raising creatine levels in our muscles, we can increase our capacity to accomplish these explosive motions. This correlates to greater strength, power output, and muscular development over time. Numerous studies have repeatedly established the advantages of creatine supplementation for increasing exercise performance and boosting muscular development. Caffeine is a natural stimulant that most of us experience every day. It's present in coffee, tea, chocolate, and even certain drugs. Whether it's a morning cup of coffee to launch the day or a midday tea break to relax, caffeine makes us feel more awake and attentive. It's a routine for many, a moment of quiet in a hectic day. But how does it work? What is it about coffee that provides us that much-needed boost? Caffeine affects on the central nervous system by inhibiting adenosine receptors. Adenosine is a neurotransmitter that promotes sleep and decreases alertness. Normally, adenosine builds up in our brain during the day, making us feel more fatigued and ready for sleep. By inhibiting adenosine, caffeine eliminates this drowsy sensation and boosts the activity of other neurotransmitters norepinephrine. These molecules are related with alertness, attention, and a feeling of well-being. This leads to enhanced alertness, attention, and energy levels. It's why so many people depend on coffee to get through their day, whether they're working in an office, studying for exams, or preparing for a major sporting event. Caffeine may also boost sports performance by raising endurance, lowering tiredness, and increasing pain tolerance. Athletes commonly utilize it as a legal performance enhancer to test their boundaries. However, it's necessary to use caffeine in moderation. Excessive ingestion might cause to adverse effects such as anxiety, sleeplessness, and digestive difficulties. It's all about striking the correct balance to enjoy the advantages without the negatives. The relationship between creatine and caffeine is a subject of continuous controversy in the fitness and nutrition sector. Some research show potential advantages from mixing certain supplements, while others raise concerns about possible unfavorable interactions. One worry is that coffee may impair creatine absorption. Creatine is delivered into muscle cells with the aid of insulin. Some studies show that coffee could interfere with insulin sensitivity, possibly limiting creatine absorption. However, other evidence shows that caffeine's effect on insulin sensitivity is acute and short-lasting and may not substantially alter creatine absorption when eaten at various times. More study is required to properly comprehend the complicated interaction between these chemicals and their cumulative effects on the body. Despite the continuing dispute, some data supports possible advantages to mixing creatine and caffeine, especially for exercise performance. Caffeine's stimulating effects on the central nervous system may boost alertness, attention and sleep, and minimize perceived intensity during exercises. Creatine, on the other hand, gives the muscles with the additional energy they need to push through tough exercise sessions. Combining these supplements could contribute to greater strength, power output, and endurance, enabling people to push harder and obtain better outcomes from their exercises. However, it's vital to recognize that these possible advantages are based on limited research and further studies are required to corroborate these results. While there could be some advantages to mixing creatine with caffeine, it's necessary to examine the potential negatives as well. Understanding these downsides might help consumers make educated judgments regarding their supplement consumption. One big worry is the chance for dehydration. This is especially crucial for athletes 
and people participating in severe physical activity. Caffeine is a diuretic, meaning it increases urine output, which may lead to dehydration if fluid intake is not sufficiently maintained. This impact may be more noticeable in hot and humid conditions when perspiration is enhanced. Creatine, although not a diuretic itself, may attract water into muscle cells, further increasing the risk of dehydration, particularly during activity. This is because creatine helps muscles retain water which may be advantageous for muscular function, but troublesome if total hydration is not controlled. Combining these supplements could increase dehydration, particularly if people are not attentive of their fluid consumption. It's vital to drink lots of water throughout the day, especially before, during, and after exercises. Additionally, creatine might induce stomach pain in certain persons. This may show as stomach pains, bloating, or even nausea. Combining them could increase the probability of having these negative effects. It's recommended to start with smaller dosages to test tolerance and gradually raise as required. Always read supplement labels carefully and talk with a healthcare expert before beginning any new supplement program. This may assist guarantee that the combination of creatine and caffeine is safe and beneficial for your unique requirements. By being aware of these possible downsides and taking action to prevent them, you may gain the most out of your supplementation while reducing risks. What should you do? Given the varied facts and possible advantages and risks, determining whether to mix creatine and caffeine might be tricky. If you're contemplating mixing these supplements, it's vital to prioritize your health and well-being. Start by testing your tolerance to each chemical separately. If you have unfavorable side effects from either caffeine or creatine such as anxiety, sleeplessness, digestive troubles, or muscular cramping, it's better to avoid mixing both. If you tolerate both medications well, you may experiment with mixing them, but do so carefully. Start with modest dosages of both and gradually raise the dosage while evaluating your body's reaction. To assist you make an educated choice, let's outline the probable positives and downsides of mixing creatine with caffeine. Caffeine may boost alertness and minimize perceived effort, while creatine gives muscles with additional energy. Combining these substances could contribute to higher increases in strength and power output during exercises. Caffeine's tiredness decreasing benefits, paired with creatine's energy-boosting characteristics, could increase endurance performance. Both coffee and creatine may lead to dehydration, particularly after exercise. Both chemicals might induce intestinal difficulties in certain persons, and mixing them can raise the danger. Limited data shows coffee could interfere with creatine absorption, while further studies are required to prove this. Should you avoid creatine if you use caffeine? The choice of whether to avoid creatine if you use caffeine is personal and relies on individual characteristics such as tolerance, objectives, and risk tolerance. Based on the available facts, there is no conclusive answer to this issue. Some research show potential advantages to mixing these supplements while others raise concerns about possible unfavorable interaction. If you handle both drugs well and are aiming to enhance workout performance, mixing creatine and caffeine can be an option worth considering. However, it's vital to do so gently, beginning with moderate dosages, watching your body's reaction, and emphasizing water. Ultimately, the best approach to supplements is to make educated judgments based on your specific requirements and objectives. Before introducing any new supplement to your regimen, talk with a trained healthcare expert or registered dietitian. They can assist analyze your general health state, identify possible dangers and advantages, and lead you towards safe and successful supplementing solutions. Remember that supplements should complement a balanced diet and frequent exercise plan, not replace them. While creatine and caffeine may be helpful tools for increasing sports performance and accomplishing fitness objectives, it's crucial to put your health and well-being above all else. Listen to your body, be conscious of your consumption, and seek expert help when required. By making educated choices and prioritizing your health, you can maximize your fitness journey safely and successfully. Looking for high-quality supplements backed by Dr. Andrew Huberman himself? Check out the links in the description below and subscribe and hit the bell icon if you've learned anything new or anything of value.